So our bodies as human beings are absolutely covered with tiny forms of life, microorganisms, inside and outside. And these microbes are absolutely important for our health, helping us resist infection and helping our bodies function properly. And one of the challenges as a human is figuring out how to, to promote the good sorts of microbes that live in us and on us while um, discouraging bad sorts of microbes. And one of the ways we do this is by cleaning ourselves. So it's very easy to clean too much. So one of the things that's important to remember is that, is that what we really need to do in terms of cleaning is to prevent the movement of microbes from our guts, for example, to our mouths or from our guts to our, our genitals. But it's very easy to overclean if we're not careful. So for example, it's very important to wash your hands after you use the bathroom and before you eat. But unless you work in a hospital, there's really no need to use Purell on a regular basis to keep our hands clean. And it's a similar situation for keeping our genitals clean. It's important to wash after we, uh, after we use the bathroom and to kind of regularly wash with mild soap and water. But there's no need to, to try to remove all the microbes that are present uh, on our genitals because they play a really important role in maintaining our health. And the vagina, for example, they play a role in keeping the pH low so that vaginas aren't invaded by um, kinds of microbes that can cause infections. And in similar ways, the microbes that live on a human penis are really important to prevent infection. The, the best way to keep uh, your genitals clean, whether it's a penis or a vagina, is to wash with warm water and mild soap, just as you would your hands. So there's no need to use extra cleaning products beyond uh, warm water and mild soap uh, to keep yourself clean. Because again, the microbes that are associated with your genitals uh, aren't a source of, of dirtiness. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, and they're essential for our health. So treating them as uh, responsibly and as carefully as we can is very important.